Let's take a look what is the scenario that you faced here. You are on the final table, you shared that already, but we need to check out the stack sizes to understand the ICM pressure here. So the small blind, the action was that the small blind raised three big blinds into you and you decided to jam. And your question was, was your jam okay? Was his call off okay? And I just want to show the strategies from both parties involved, how it works here. Let first, when I'm on a final table, I'm always watching out for the short stacks. I can see there's one short stack. So the ICM pressure is not that big. Like the short stack doesn't have three big blinds. There are not two, three different short stacks. There's just one short stack out of eight players. So um, no special, especially high ICM pressure. He was the chip leader or around the chip leader with around 60 big blinds starting. And you with your 22, 23 big blinds were on the shorter end already. What does it mean for the chip leader when he is one of the chip leaders? Um, often he will play with many races. I assume this is logical for most of us, but nevertheless, let's take a look at the exact strategy. Now we can together look at the small band strategy involved here. The colors might be a bit awkward and hard to differentiate, so I'll try to help a little bit. Green is what he is supposed to limp. Red is what he's supposed to raise three big blinds and this purple type color, this is the all in here. I think I should have a better color selection, but we will be fine. So let's try to interpret his strategy for our human understanding. Like how can we apply this in game? When I take a look at the picture, I can immediately see a lot of red. Of course, there's some green but mainly he's playing in an aggressive way. And we can even see it on top here in the percentages. The limp is only 20% of his strategy, but the race is 50% and then another 20% all in. So immediately we know, okay, as a chip leader, as one of the bigger chip leaders, um, you have to play mainly with races. So what are the hands we want to go all in with? A goal in with is just hands that are not strong enough to induce, but they are still good enough to just go all in with. So we are talking about the low pocket pairs, for example, deuces, threes, fours, five, great hands to go all in. Suited connectors, great hands to go all in. Uh, if you get called by ace queen or whatever, then you, you're doing fine you, with suited connector type hands. You can also, or you should also go all in with some off-suited A6 because um, they don't have great variability post flop. Let's say you're just raising three big blinds with A2s off-suited and then you get called by 10 8 suited. It's almost like a flip. So it's really good to take down the bot right away. That's his strategy. Uh, and then, yeah, then the really strong hands like pocket sevens plus or like strong A6 type hands. They just want to make the free big blind race to induce, of course. I think that's the small blind strategy. Um, nothing too surprising, I would say. But now let's take a look at what is really interesting for you. Is your counter strategy in the big blind. So if we just look at ace five for a second, then we could think, oh, it actually was a mistake because green is the call. But I defend you here. I tell you the push was good because we need to take a look at the bigger picture. And let's take a look at the bigger picture. We can see that almost all off-suited ASX hands are supposed to play the aggressive response. Most of them have this purple color, meaning all in, and the very, very strong ones, Ace King and a little bit of Ace Queen, they make just a smaller race back. So I think it was a bit unlucky now that this sim picks your exact holding is five and puts it into the call. But overall, we can really see that the aggression is the way to go with offsuited A6 hands. So I think you planned, played this hand perfectly fine. What other information can we get out of the sim? I think it might be good to see for you that you're very straightforward with the hands you're going all in with. What do I mean with that? You're only going all in with either pocket bears or with off-suited A6 hands. Like we can hardly find any other hand on this entire hand chart that wants to go all in. So the hand for you to go all in is really like off-suited A6 and pocket pairs. And the rest, you just decide between call or fold more or less. 
And of course, the strongest ones, you want to get even more value out of it, make a small click back. Don't ask me why the kings are green here. Personally, I would never just flat. I would always make a raise here. And I think, yeah, therefore your hand is perfectly fine. You got cool out. Your last question was, was his call off with S10? Okay. And I prepared this as well. And that is the range he's supposed to call off. If we take a look at the above picture again, we knew that, okay, the sevens plus those pocket bears that are strong enough to induce, they, they don't go all in because they actually want to induce and get even more value out of the hand, talking about sixes or fives plus, and all of them are also calling off. And in terms of the ace x hands, ace twos to ace eight was supposed to go all in for him, and starting ace nine, he's racing for value, and that means he's also calling it off. I think ace nine off calling against Chaff is very thin, very marginal, might be a bit questionable if he can really do that, but ace 10 is a safe call. I think well played from both parties. I hope I was able to um, give some more light into this spot for you, how it works for you in the big blind, how it works for the small blind, and then you, you can feel more comfortable in the future when you face a spot like this as well. I think this is a very common spot on final tables that you face very often, playing blind versus blind. And especially when you face the chip leader, then you just face a lot of races. So really very common scenario. And yeah, I hope you are satisfied with this. Hello, Mr. Bird. Welcome to our awesome community. I want to address your first question in regards to limbs. Feder mentioned in the preflip fundamentals that adding limbs to your game enables you to play more hands plus CV. And I want to show you the theory and the concept behind this. The idea is that the less chips you have to invest in order to play hands, the more hands you're unable to play. And I want to show this to you with three different scenarios I prepared. The situations we will look at is a four-handed table where everybody has 20 big blinds. We will just focus on the cutoff. In the first setup, I allowed the cutoff only to go all in or to fold. Those are the only two options he has. That means there is no cheap way for him to play hands. He has to risk the maximum if he wants to play his hands. And that will result in a very tight strategy. You can see it. With this strategy, the cutoff is only able to play 24% of hands. In the next scenario, I added another option for the cutoff to make a raise of three big blinds. So this is a way cheaper option now to compare to just going all in. And we can immediately see the impact. Now the cutoff is able to play around 29, 29.5% of hands in a plus EV way. And in the hand number three, I just made this a bit more extreme. Instead of the three big blind race, I allowed the cutoff to make a two big blinds race, meaning it's a lot cheaper for him. He has to invest a lot less compared to the two previous scenarios that we looked at. And suddenly he can play 37% of hands. And I think we can clearly see here um, the, how the amount of hands he can play plus EV is changing based on how cheap the option you have to play your hand. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, and that applies to limps as well. Like limps is an even cheaper option to play hands. You only have to invest one big blind with your 9-8 suited type hand uh, where you try to see a flop and play your hand. That's the idea behind it. Let me also mention that this is a simplified scenario. So in this, all the three sims that we looked at, the blinds, they do not have the option to call. So um, in reality, the differences won't be that huge. But I still think it's a perfect example to show the idea and the concept and the theory behind a fader statement, why limbs enables you to play more hands plus CV. And I hope um, I answered your question. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support the channel and stay always up to date, then leave a subscribe here or check out our next video.